Hey everybody and welcome to BK's Bullets. Today we are unboxing the DC Direct Batman Mini Bust designed by Gary Frank. Hey everybody and welcome back to BK's Bullets. Sorry for the long wait, it's my birthday last week so I spent some time celebrating with my family and also acquired a few new items. The one of interest to you guys is this thing right here. This is the Batman, uh, Batman bust from the DC, it had a specific name, I guess it's not on the box which is unfortunate. Anyway, it's DC Universe bust or whatever. This is a couple years old. Um, let me see the copyright date on here, if it's on here. Uh, anyway, these came out a couple years ago. I remember seeing this particular one in uh, one of the comic shops around town, and I always liked it. So when I got some birthday money on Amazon, I uh, was going on there, and based off you know the Nicholas Scott Batman in black and white statue that I had received, or that I purchased earlier in the month, I was like, is there any other statue out there that I can get for 50 bucks, which is, to me, like a reasonable price. Uh, I don't know about a hundred, maybe I'm willing to do up to 75 sometimes, but I like the, the scale of these things. I've seen some online reviews of some larger statues where they may be a foot tall or 16 inches tall, um, you know, or even 18 inches. They're, you know, they're, I can't even show you in the frame because they're taller than this, uh, which seems to me outrageous, the, at least for the way my house is set up. I don't even know where you would display something like that. Um, it seems like they're made for really rich people with really large comic rooms or stores just to display or something like that. Seems kind of strange, but I like the little six inch line. Uh, this is actually the first bust that I have. Everything else is a full body statue basically, uh, which is, you know, head to toe. A bust typically is like mid chest up. This one is actually at the waist as we're about to see. So, so let's get to it. Here's the box. Designed by Gary Frank, I believe this is the Batman Earth One costume from the graphic novels that Jeff Johns wrote. I have not opened this. I've seen it on Amazon and seen the box. The only thing I did was I pre-cut all the tape around the um, uh, uh, foam here, just so that I would be able to open it and you know speed things up. So this is the box. Got a nice little swamp thing on the back there. Um, if you like these, they're probably I don't know if they're say easy to find because I looked online and they had some and you know some are reasonable and some are not it's kind of the same thing with the Batman black and white line uh, the older you get the more expensive they are because they are limited I think typically they, they make around 5,000 of these um, so if you, if you like this one or like something some other of these I know there's like a flash one that looks pretty cool uh, definitely check it out but for me I'm, I'm thinking that all of my statues that I buy are going to be Batman related unless there's something really awesome um, coming that I you know absolutely must have but so far this is the only Batman bust you know or any bust that I've seen that I was really really interested in so let's get to it let's open up the top here let's take them out every every statue that I've gotten from DC uh, collectibles which I think this is a uh, the same line as the you know same makers as the Batman black and white that comes from DC directly DC collectibles comes in the nice foam it's you know pre punched or whatever molded so that it holds them pretty good I don't even know how it, I think his arm goes right here in the top and then the base rests down here I didn't even look I'm so excited so let's take him out of the plastic here oh his uh, battering has actually poked a hole in the plastic there that's interesting so we'll have to be very careful taking him out I didn't even realize how fragile he might be because he's so intricate here you go let's look at him that is awesome no number on the bottom most of the Batman black and whites have a number out of you know whatever their production line was but this is pretty cool. The only thing I'm disappointed about is this uh, Batarang is a little flexible. It's a little loose. It doesn't look like it can come out, but it's definitely glued at the bottom of his, of his glove. So that is a little unfortunate. But everything else, I mean, the pose is just fierce. It's Batman getting ready to go into action. He's got his arm clenched up on the other side here, holding the cape 
which then swirls around him and check out this base it's all these different bats that are flying out at you they're all 3d modeled or uh, 3d sculpted it's not flat or anything like that the entire you know it gets a little bit flat flatter on the bottom but I think that is a great great looking great looking statue so I'm looking at it looks pretty detailed it's got like the earth one costume had a bunch of piping on it that uh, Gary Frank did in the thing so that is there uh, one I guess nitpick you can kind of see the seam on the shoulder here uh, if, if you get up close there you can kind of see the seam where that's like a separate piece so far on all of the Batman black and whites that I've collected I haven't been able to find any seams if there are they're prob I would say they're probably on the gloves because that probably seems like the the, the easiest place to hide it and they, they did a pretty good job trying to hide it here it's just it's a little bit a little bit too dark because of that piping and you can also see it there's a little bit of shadow on his other arm over here so but I mean I think most of the bigger scale statues all have seams where you have to insert uh, certain pieces into the statue in order to make it whole um, kind of like the Batman black and whites you always sometimes you have to put a peg you know put the peg in the hole to make it mate to the stand this doesn't have any of those issues but everything else here looks spectacular I get it. How are you going to paint the symbol yellow if you can't get to it because it's arms blocking it? That's got to be a really difficult job. So I get the idea of having to remove everything to paint it. I mean, even his belt is painted all the way around the statue into the cape and stuff like that. So you probably can't see it. Um, but it is an amazing, amazing statue. So I am going to definitely put this on the shelf. Definitely over here on the bookcase next to my Jim Lee colored uh, statue that I've got of the hush pose where he's standing on the gargoyle right now I have all my black and whites behind the camera and they're on one shelf and then I'm gonna put I guess all the non black and white statues over here uh, until I fill it up and then I need some more shelves so interesting uh, interesting I definitely love just going back to the statue I love this Gary Frank design is really what it is and this artistic sculpt uh, it's on the box over here he sculpted it uh, Jean St. John on the box here sculpted it did a great job transforming all the different little details he's, he's got like a, the ripped muscles here and uh, all the little you know things in the belt each each cargo pocket on the belt has a has a, a holder a clasp you know the bats wings all look very leathery or bronzed even and uh, the cape is very leathery right here stuff like that the scallops on the on the glove look great this little textured pattern where it like looks like piping but it's probably like a flexible area for his wrist it looks fantastic each one of these is sculpted and then the coolest thing is that um i didn't even notice this i guess in the drawings before but batman i think the dark knight had him the dark knight gloves from the movies had him he's got like individual knuckle uh pieces of armor on the knuckles those are all here on the sculpt and they're all painted a the same you know you have like a, a matte gray on the glove and then you have a shiny black on the knuckles to show that they're armored so that is pretty cool you know he's, he's got a little bit of flesh tone around his lips his definitely looks angry the brow sculpt is great on the mask I'm looking at it so you can't see it I'm sorry but uh, this is a great, great piece. Actually, it even goes further past the waist. You know, this is like mid-thigh over here. Um, so, I guess if you were to make him full size, he would be about this tall. You know, something like that. So, great, great rendition. I'm super excited about adding this to the collection. This is even cooler in person than, I, than it looked online. So, that is the unboxing of the DC Universe bust designed by Gary Frank, Batman statue. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you think of this video. What other statues of mine do you want to see? Uh, yeah, I don't have to do an unboxing. They're already unboxed, but we can talk about them and stuff like that. So thank you guys very much, and I will see you guys in the funny pages.